What if rockets didn't need giant fireballs to reach space? What if we could launch them using magnetic force, just like a high-speed train, but vertical? That's exactly what China is planning by 2028, the world's first electromagnetic rocket launch pad, a system that could catapult rockets at supersonic speeds without lighting a single engine, at least not right away. It's bold, risky, and could flip the space industry on its head. In this video, we'll uncover how this launch system works and why it might be the biggest threat SpaceX has ever faced. Let's start with the tech, because once you understand how this works, you'll see why it's so different and why it might just be a game changer. The concept behind China's electromagnetic rocket launch pad is rooted in maglev or magnetic levitation technology the same system used in bullet trains to glide silently and quickly over tracks using powerful magnetic fields. Now imagine adapting that technology vertically, turning a horizontal train into a vertical launch rail. Sounds like sci-fi? That's exactly what China's private space firm, Galactic Energy, is trying to bring to life. Instead of firing a rocket from a standstill like traditional launches, the maglev system uses superconducting magnets to rapidly accelerate a rocket to supersonic speeds over Mach 1 before the engines even ignite. By giving rockets a huge initial boost without burning a single drop of fuel, the system drastically reduces how much fuel is needed on board. That's a big deal, because fuel weight is one of the biggest cost and design constraints in modern rocketry. This is fundamentally different from SpaceX's vertical launches, where the entire rocket must lift itself, fully fueled, from zero. The maglev method gives rockets a head start, similar to how an aircraft uses a runway. And because the initial push comes from the ground-based electromagnetic track, it opens the door for smaller rockets, more payload capacity, and lower costs. Of course, this isn't the only alternative approach out there. US-based Spin Launch is working on a giant centrifuge to hurl payloads into space. Another company, Green Launch, wants to use a space cannon. But what sets China's system apart is its use of tried and tested high-speed train tech, now adapted to space flight. And perhaps most exciting of all, this launch method could enable a much higher launch frequency, thanks to minimal wear and tear on the launch pad itself. No fire, no tower-shaking explosions, just magnets, momentum, and a whole lot of speed. The company at the center of this innovation is Galactic Energy, one of China's most ambitious private space startups. They're not new to the scene, they've already made headlines with Palace One. China's first reusable rocket. But now, with the maglev launch pad, they're stepping into uncharted territory that could put them on par with some of the biggest names in space tech. But Galactic Energy isn't doing this alone. This massive project is a collaboration between the Xi'an government and Sichuan, China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, KASIC, and the research arm known as the Xi'an Commercial Space Launch Technology Research Institute. It's a hybrid model of state-backed ambition and private innovation, something China has been increasingly good at fostering in recent years. So, why this project? Why now? It's about strategic positioning. Over the past decade, China's space program has moved from ambitious to aggressive. The Tiangong Space Station, the Zhurong Rover on Mars, and the Chang'e Lunar Missions have all shown that China doesn't just want to participate in the space race, it wants to lead it. This new launch technology is part of that bigger vision. China knows that whoever controls low cost, High-frequency satellite deployment will have an edge in telecommunications, surveillance, and even global internet infrastructure. And right now, SpaceX dominates that arena with its Starlink constellation. If China can launch satellites faster, cheaper, and more sustainably, it could quickly narrow or even close the gap. And then there's the economic angle. Satellite launches are expensive, especially for countries and smaller companies that can't afford to hire the likes of SpaceX or Ariane Space. China wants to democratize launch access, not just for itself, but for emerging nations and private firms around the world that need cheaper, faster options. There's also a huge logistical advantage here. Traditional rocket pads take time to prepare, suffer damage with each launch, and require massive amounts of fuel storage and handling. An electromagnetic launch pad could eliminate much of that hassle. If successful, this maglev-assisted launch system could revolutionize how payloads reach orbit reducing turnaround time between launches and drastically cutting operational costs. It's not just an engineering leap, it's a strategic power play that could redefine the global balance in commercial space flight.
Let's not get carried away, because even though this tech sounds amazing, it's still experimental, and that means a lot can go wrong. Launching a rocket using magnetic levitation isn't just about going fast. It's about going fast safely, with precision, and without shaking the rocket apart before it even fires its engines. Rockets aren't designed to be flung like darts. Their structure and components are delicate, especially when loaded with payloads or sensitive equipment. So far, no country has pulled off a successful electromagnetic rocket launch, at least not beyond a small-scale prototype. That's part of what makes this plan so bold. Even companies like Spin Launch, which has tested suborbital launches using similar principles, have yet to prove their systems can work at full scale and handle real-world payloads. China is betting that by combining maglev technology, which it already masters through its high-speed trains, with its growing experience in spaceflight, it can bridge that gap. But it's a massive engineering challenge. Think about it. The system has to accelerate a huge object vertically at supersonic speeds, precisely control its trajectory, then time the rocket ignition perfectly mid-air, all without damaging the cargo or compromising safety. But if it works, the benefits are huge. According to Li Ping, the president of the Xi'an Commercial Space Institute, this system could double current payload capacity while slashing fuel costs. And since the launch pad uses magnets rather than massive towers and combustion infrastructure, maintenance costs drop and launch cadence increases. That would mean more launches, more satellites, and a much faster response time for both commercial and strategic missions. It's not hard to imagine a future where China could launch dozens of satellites in a single week, giving it a powerful edge in communications, Earth observation, and space-based AI systems. Of course, the success of this tech doesn't just depend on physics. It depends on public trust, international collaboration, and clear safety protocols. And in a world increasingly concerned about space debris and launch ethics, China will need to prove that this system isn't just fast and efficient, but also sustainable and safe. How China balances innovation with responsibility could determine whether this bold leap forward inspires global cooperation or deepens the competition in the new space age. So, what did we just witness? A potential turning point in the space race. China's plan to build the world's first electromagnetic rocket launch pad isn't just another step forward, it's a giant leap sideways, a rethink of everything we thought we knew about how to leave Earth. If this works, it could lower the cost of space access, increase launch frequency, and open the skies to more players than ever before. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.